video is of course a bandwidth hungry channel. So do you consider it a, a mature technology in order to be used to communicate with the customer or use? Forse matura non è il termine. Well, instead of mature, I would call it emerging. It is a technology that the average user has already learned to deal with. The typical internet user already sees video as a natural communication channel. So, logically, it should become a natural progression for a contact center to offer this additional feature for its users. Complexity is then more related to the internal organization of a contact center than to the technology adopted. Video is, without a doubt, a fast-growing technology that has already overcome many hurdles and which is now ready to provide a complete and satisfactory interactive experience to a wide range of users. Such an experience is by now absolutely comparable to the one offered by original phone contact, one which is known to be more simple and straightforward than any other alternative. According to your experience, what is the first reaction for a user when he find out that that is really in front of a real person, not just a chat or a computer? Well, this is the same question we have asked ourselves. We then explored this topic in depth. What really makes the difference for a user is their initial experience. People who use video interaction for the first time may be confused, purely because they suddenly have to deal with someone they don't know or recognize, yet they are expected to divulge personal information to them. But as soon as interaction starts, video has proved itself to facilitate dialogue and keep it more natural. So, according to our experiences, 80% of users that have already used video, at least once, soon find it preferable to other alternative communication channels. Alright, thanks very much and let's continue with the next video.